Hey you guys, this is Morgan Mitchell and I'm at it again with a late night vlog. So I wanted to talk about my most magical Disney experience and so to preface all of this, my family had been taking me to Disney World since I was in second or third grade. I can't remember the exact year, but I just remember being really young and really excited because I was getting to go see Disney World for the first time. So flash forward to maybe like my fourth or fifth trip to Disney. My dad and I both saw the Tower of Terror and we were like, we're going on this. And as we're approaching the tower, we hear the screams, we see, the, we see it drop and everything and we looked at each other and we both we were both pale like just pale from fear and we were like maybe next time and so we shook on it we made the promise that the next time that we were in Disney World we would go on the Tower of Terror together well my sophomore year of high school my father passed away and so when my senior class announced that we were going to Disney World for a senior class trip, I panicked. <laughs> like, I love Disney. I knew that I was going to have fun no matter what. But I panicked because we were, we were going to hit every single park at one point during that trip. Whether it was the mandatory, like, late night trip to the park or if it was something else. But we were going to hit every single park. And I knew that my friends were going to want to Tower of Terror. And so for the entire, what would be like 12 hour bus ride, actually maybe more, maybe less than that because we were in North Carolina and we were going to Orlando. So for the entire bus ride, I couldn't sleep. I was excited to go back to Disney, but at the same time I was terrified that I would have to, that I would have to miss out on Tower of Terror with all of my friends because my dad wasn't there. And so the first night, Instead of hitting Magic Kingdom, they announced that we were going to MGM Studios. And so I was just walking around the parks. We had we could choose whatever park we wanted to during the day. So I chose Epcot. I was walking around Epcot and everywhere I looked I saw little tiny like flashbacks to all of the other times that I had gone to Disney and I was just seeing my dad everywhere. And it was when we got to MGM Studios, I was such a mess when I was a kid. Like, no matter how simple the food was, like I could be eating a cheeseburger and I'd end up with like melted cheese and ketchup and just everything everywhere. And so one of my favorite photos from when I was younger and went to Disney was I was wearing a baseball cap. We had just gone to MGM Studios and it was one of the hottest days. It was 4th of July and so my family had gotten us ice cream and so I have a cold and wet paper towel like stuck in my hat. I have melted chocolate ice cream all over the rim of my hat and all over my face and I'm just looking off because it's crowded, it's hot, my head's pounding and I just wanted to get back to the hotel room. I don't think I have ever been more of like a grumpy old person in my life than I was that Disney trip because it was hot, it was constantly raining, and I just wanted to I wanted to be somewhere with air conditioning. But we're now walking around MGM Studios my senior year of high school, and I see the ice cream place that my parents had gotten the ice cream from. And I see a family of four, and they look exactly like my mom, my dad, my brother, and I. And I see this little girl who looks like me. And she has a giant chocolate ice cream cone. Chocolate ice cream all over her face. And, you know, the dad's just laughing and, like, trying to wipe it all off. And, you know, it reminded me of that. And as we're walking to Tower of Terror, for the first time in my life, I had actually felt like I had a little piece of my dad with me. Like, I, it felt like he was walking right beside me. And as we're in line, there was like this voice in my head saying, I'm here. And so sure enough, we get up there, we get loaded into the elevator and I'm sitting there. I have my friends on all sides of me. 
you have one friend who's just laughing maniacally the entire time, the other friend's just grinning, and you have my friend like a row or two in front of us trying to propel himself out of his seat, he's so scared. And I got off that ride, and it felt like everything was going to be okay. I don't think I have ever had a more like emotional experience at Disney World than I have in that moment. That trip, while my senior class was crazy, uh, it was one of those things where I realized a lot more, even though there wasn't like a single cast member that knew what was going on inside my head, they were always smiling, they were always there, and I will never forget that trip for as long as I will live because now every single time that I go to Disney World, I still feel like I have my dad with me. Now that I'm going to be a cast member and I have access to the parks, I am going on I am going on Tower of Terror multiple times because that is the ride that I always feel my dad now with me on the most. So thank you for bearing with me through this like really emotional vlog. And I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!